Hank's got a lot of problems. Hey, baby! How about a couple of beers? Sorry, should gotta go. I got another migraine treatment with John Redcorn. Nancy, you've been going to that healer for 12 years, and you still get headaches every night. Healing process takes time, honey. Getting back to the Hill family. Girls. You're gonna need some chaperones, especially if my Bobby's there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I got it all under control. There's not gonna be any hanky-panky at my house. Hey, John Redcorn. Huh. Going to Corpus Christi this weekend for some migraine workshop. I'm suspicious as hell. See ya, Shug. Feel better. Bring me back a shot glass. Good thing John Redcorn's going with her. He can keep an eye on things. Mayday! 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 The kids are in the caves. Oh, my goodness. That is where half of Arlen's unplanned pregnancies begin. Hank and Con nothing that lovers do that could possibly take this long. Am I right? Yes, if you only consider your own needs. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I think I need a beer. Uh, honey, you want a beer? Yes. Yes. How did he know I wanted a beer? Make a left. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Mm. Hi, John Redcorn. Uh, Bill. Morning, John Redcorn. Oh, uh, Peggy, just dropping off a new healing herb for Nancy uh, to help with her migraines. Ginkgo biloba. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Sure, I've heard of that. There you are. Hello, John Redcorn. Oh, yes. We were just, uh, back here. Oh, phew. I just had to get out of that house. I am trying to do some creative work, and Hank seems to think that he's helping by making me more and more stressed out. It has given me a whopping headache. Yes, headaches can often be caused by stress. Of course, John Redcorn. You're a licensed New Age healer. Why don't I try a healing... Morning, Dale. You poor, poor man. Hi, John Redcorn. Uh, Dale. Well, well, well. Jahan Redcorn. Oh, Peggy. Nancy's headache's very severe this morning. Uh, must be the pollen. Well, well, well. Well. Jahan Redcorn. Peggy Hill. How long is that gonna take? Exactly. Sorry, babe. You'll have to do without the big D for at least two nights. Dale? John Redcorn, have you brought back that tea bag I lent you? No. I have something for Joseph. Your first hunting trip is a sacred occasion. Operation. I have recruited one John Redcorn to keep Nancy busy all day. She will not suspect a thing. Oh, Shug, this place is perfect. No one will ever spot us in this dump. Uh, maybe you should take your hands out of my jeans now. Shug, what's the matter? You're so... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, thank God you're here, John Redcorn. Nancy won't come out of the bug of bago. Nancy has a headache and requires treatment. I will need about an hour. And a bottle of Vaste Spumante. I'll get it. Yeah. 
That's it. You have pampered that woman long enough. Put me on camera right <laughs> Next time it might not be a BB. I know what you're here for. Dale, uh, this isn't how I wanted you to find out. Quit screwing around with my mower. You've got to be kidding. I don't kid about my mower. Now get inside and start massaging my wife. He's taking some of the fun out of this. And I'm going to need somebody to help Nancy in case Dale comes home. Okay, any volunteers? I had my hand up first. Is it? Dale Gribble. Come in. Sorry to interrupt your healing session. Hey, John Redcorn. But Hank and Peggy invited us to dinner Saturday night. But Saturday is one of my John Redcorn nights. Sorry, Shug. But uh, Nancy, maybe you should go. What? No, I have an appointment with you. For my migraines. Yes, I know. It's just, I've healed you three to five nights a week for many years. I could really use a night off. I don't understand. Did I do something to upset you? As a patient? No, of course not. I love treating you for migraines. Then what is it? It's nothing. It's not nothing. It's just, damn it, can I take a night off? Do whatever you want. I don't care. Great. I'll tell him we're on. Son the jock. With me and your mother as parents, I don't know how you got so athletic. Hey, John Redcorn. Well, okay, son. Just be more careful where you're aiming. If Bill wasn't standing there, you would have hit Hank's truck. <laughs> Men. Uh, no. It's Nancy? My Nancy? You having dirty dreams about my sweet Nan Nan? Say, is that a new suede vest? Nancy used to like it when I kept the vest on during sex. Do you want it? Oh, God. Here, take uh, it. Take it all. Uh, and the story goes that they once offended their spirits. Hey, speaking of the red man, it's John Redcorn. Hey, what a coinky dink. All of us camping here. Pretty funny. Huh. <laughs> oh, can you believe a mere 12 hours ago these plump, luscious grapes were raisins? Uh, Hank, there's something that I think you should know. Something very personal and disturbing. Hank, John Redcorn? Maria's pasta and pizza! Are you ready to rock? There's a hole in my bucket where my money should go! There's a hole in my heart where you used to go! There's a hole! But why don't I let our demo tape do the talking? I am the Reaper, the collector of souls. I am the taker and the smasher of Okay, I'm sorry, John Redcorn. I'm not hiring you. No way. I... I see. You know, you start doing massage to pay the bills, and you tell yourself, just a few more years of this, Johnny. And then one day, you look up and you're 40. You're 40, Hank! Okay there, John Redcorn. You, uh, you make some good points. Uh... Look... Gotta get money for the things I wanna buy. Gotta get money so when the plane don't let me fly. Gotta get money or else I'm gonna die. This is where the drum solo usually goes. Huh, that will a sound like that. A kick and a miss for John No Scorin' Red Corin. I thought we said no bouncies. Ow! 
Could you guys keep it down? I'm trying to study. You bet, son. <laughs> You're out. This is good. This is dynamite.